In our last video, we've looked at the three functions of the nervous system, sensory input, integration, and motor output. While discussing those three functions, we started to see how the nervous system works. To better visualize though, here is a diagrammed path. The nervous system receives information through receptor cells. Receptor cells are specialized neurons that take in the information. They're found in your sense organs, so your skin, your eye, your tongue, and so on. For today's example, let's say you walk up to a closed door. Your eyes see that the door is closed. The information is sent then to the central nervous system by sensory neurons. They pass on that the door is closed. The information is interpreted by interneurons in the CNS. In this case, you can't get in with the door closed. You'll have to open it. A response is sent out from the CNS by motor neurons to effector cells. The effector cells are in muscles or glands that respond. In this case, your hand and arm to turn the handle and open the door. Now I've been grouping the central nervous system all together, but some information goes to the brain and some first goes to the spinal cord. Your spinal cord controls things such as reflexes, and this is called the reflex arc. Touch something hot, you quickly pull your hand back without really thinking about it. Reflexes help you respond quickly without your brain needing to process it first. Other examples are when there's a loud noise, your eyes close, your shoulders go up, and your head down to protect your ears. Or when the doctor gently hits your knee and your leg kicks. The message still goes to your brain to see if more needs to be done, but your reflex happens first as it goes through the spinal cord and is so fast. Often when you pull your hand off something hot, you feel the pain afterwards once it's gotten to your brain and it processes the pain. Looking back at our diagram, there could be a problem anywhere along this path. If your sensory neurons or receptors were damaged, you wouldn't feel the pain of touching a hot stove. No information is passed to the CNS. You wouldn't move your hand until you notice some other way, such as you saw your hand burning or someone told you. That is, as long as the sensory neurons in your eyes or ears were working properly. If you had a problem with your motor neurons, you would feel your hand on the stove, but you couldn't move it. The message for your muscles to move your hand doesn't get to them, even though you feel it and know it is a problem. If you have damaged interneurons, you wouldn't feel it or move your hand as nothing is processing the information and sending a response that you should move. Now you know more about how the nervous system functions, look for next week's video all about neurons, the cells of your nervous system. Mm -hmm.